Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Benny, a true nerd, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where last time, Pontifex Maximus Poseidon the Educator elevated Hellenism to its final, greatest form. Now, now we are ready, with the twin guns of Holy Wars and Great Holy Wars, which are similar but slightly different, to spread Hellenism across the world, though, uh, I'm gonna be honest, the world might resist just a little bit. But just look at this, Hellenism is starting to spread. Big parts of Bulgaria, Epirus, Greece, Sicily, little bit more over here in Italy. It's starting to spread and we've only just reformed it. This is, uh, this is going to be beautiful. And now, now we can start accelerating towards my true goal. Alright, restore the Roman Empire in its true Hellenic form. Though before I do that, I should probably deal with, you know, this Catholic uprising. So I need to put that down, and until I've put that down and stood down the troops, I can't actually declare any more wars. But that's fine. A little bit of time passing is not the worst thing in the world for us right now, because as time passes, more and more territories become Hellenic and are thus much less likely to revolt. And sad news, one of the pagan kings I converted to Hellenism has passed on, but fortunately his successor is also Hellenic, as is his heir. So I invested very heavily in churches and whatnot for these guys, so they should be very firmly Hellenic. Okay, everyone's just dying. This is a very morbid opening right now, but uh, yeah, Thrace. The king of Thrace has passed on. Then again, he was like... 70-something, wasn't he? 67. That's a good run in Crusader Kings 2. Ah, this'll do. The Duke of Adrianopolis has got himself a decent number of troops. He is properly Hellenic. His wife is Catholic, which is a problem, but their son is Hellenic and is also engaged to a Hellenic. So, okay, don't need to worry about his misinformed wife. We can just crack on with this. You can be the new king. Congratulations. Now that does open a hole in the council in terms of Spymaster, which the new guy's not actually really qualified to film. But Theseus, my own son, heir to absolutely everything, would be very qualified indeed. So, uh, you know what? Screw it. This guy's going to be fine with me even if he's not on the council for now. Oh yeah, this guy's content. He'll be no trouble whatsoever. Oh, this is beautiful. When your head priest converts a character to true reformed Hellenism, he does actually say, praise literally all of the gods in a single word. That's, that's just marvellous. And my second son, Polyphemus, is also taking an interest in the skies. So, okay, I could use this as an opportunity to get rid of Virgo. But Virgo actually boosts stewardship. And he's going in that direction anyway. So, uh, you know what? No, we'll keep him with that. That actually works in his favour. Oh, and even better, Zeus, my disfigured brother, has one, finally had a son, but two, is now officially known as the Sword of Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, and many others. That's, that's a good title right there. And also, he's doing a good job expanding Greece into France for some reason. In fact, yeah, just in terms of square kilometers, there might now be more Greece in southern France than there is in, you know, Greece. And he's not done yet either. He's immediately jumped into another holy war, this time to take Aquitaine. Okay, so that's a holy war. So that's at the duchy level, because it's not a great holy war. Those are the ones of the kingdom. So that means he must be going for the duchy of Aquitaine right here. So yeah, this bit of land right over here. That's what he wants to take. So, I mean, go for it. Why not? Honestly, I wish you were doing this in North Italy. That would be much better, but uh, screw it. Sure. So, because of my current threat level, basically, yes, everybody in Christendom has joined a defensive pact against me. So, if I try and expand the empire any further into Italy, which I need to do if I'm going to reform the Roman Empire, then literally everybody will attack me. So I could wait for the threat to go down, but the thing is, if I engage in Holy Wars, plenty of these guys will just jump in anyway. The important thing is, I just need to keep threat under 50%. Because at over 50%, at that point, all the religions start joining together against me, which is slightly historically ludicrous, but whatever. So basically, yeah. 
that's the point where we need to not pass ideally, and we are under that right now. So I feel like now is a good time to do a little bit of smashing, because uh, the thing is, if I just keep punching everybody in the face over and over again, like, you know, I just walk up to Catholicism and I punched in the face, and then immediately after I'm done and I win the war, we just begin more wars, then they won't have time to rebuild their armies. They can be at war with me as much as they want, they literally won't have any troops. So that certainly could be an option. What I'm more worried about is, yeah, anything that lowers general opinion of me because I just need to keep my own empire on side. I'm moderately confident I can just beat up all of Europe even if it joins together against me. I've done it before, I can do it again. So I just need to, yeah, deal with anybody I need to fight with twice now so the truce can time out before I attack them again. So I think truce breaker is bad for your general opinion, so probably best. We do Romaine first, because yes, one Great Holy War will get me Latium and Ferrara. We'll need to attack them again to get, uh, yeah, Genoa up here. That's all absolutely fine, because while we're waiting for the truce to time out, we've got to take out, uh, yeah, Carthage, we've got Jerusalem, we've got to mop up what's left of the papacy down over here. Ah, yes, and don't forget Venice. Venice itself, which lives in its own kind of uh, weird duchy of one. The duchy of Venice is literally just the one territory, so that's all absolutely fine. In fact, actually, all three levels, that's true. The county of Venice, the duchy of Venice, the republic of Venice, every single one of those things is de jure, literally just one thing. Here we go. My council is a bunch of yes-men and pragmatists and a handful of zealots, so they're all on board. In fact, actually, the pragmatists do not want to get involved because they're busy with their own wars. But screw it, we've got enough zealots who are 100% on board with me punching Catholicism in the face. So, okay, we can push this one through. And all we need to do is beat every single one of these individuals at the same time. Which, unlike... 80% confident we can do. Oh, hang on. Aside from one small problem, which is, hang on, which of these criteria am I not meeting? Oh, so apparently the pagan Great Holy War era has not yet begun. Well, that feels unfair. Everyone else gets crusades. Why don't I get crusades? I mean, my understanding was uh, pagans get Great Holy Wars if, one, their religion allows it, Two, there is a pagan religious head, which there is, it's me, and three, crusades and jihads are a thing, which they are. I've been attacked by both, so they definitely exist, so not 100% sure on that one. Okay, well screw it in that case, we'll deal with the most fiddly war we need to do first, which is, yeah, all the way down over here around Alexandria. We need to sort out the Alexandria problem, because we're going to be needing the full duchy, not just the one county. The county let me seize the holy site, that let me reform the religion, but I need the whole duchy if I'm going to reform the Roman Empire. And that being a holy war at the duchy level, that is legit. So screw it, let's make that happen. Once again, we're taking on literally everybody, but I'm not too worried. Okay, maximize our chance of a nice good omen in this war, big mighty bull, and 20%, love it. And, okay, the Pope's raised, yeah, all of his troops here, but they've got basically no flipping morale whatsoever. So this is actually uh, quite positive. We might be able to chase down and deal with the Pope before he can actually get his troops in order, because they've all shown up, so that's, that's a good start. That's a good start right over there. In fact, you know what? We should chase these guys down before they have a chance to recover, because that's... that's a lot of men, in fact, actually. With you guys here as well, and uh, various other forces, that's more in Egypt than I was actually expecting. Okay, so Bulgaria can deal with this situation down over here. There doesn't seem to be much in this part of the world. What I'm going to do instead is... Uh, Raise up the boats. That's a lot of flipping boats. You guys, just get in the boats over here if you'd be so kind. And then, yeah, get yourselves down to Egypt as soon as possible. Because sure, I've got the forces of Asia Minor, but it's going to take them a while to actually get down to uh, to Egypt. In fact, you know what? I might want to just boat them across too. Because 
that's going to be where the focus is. I imagine a large number of people are not going to attack us by land. Instead, they're just going to try and get by sea down to Egypt, because that's where the war is, officially. There's also 5,000 Venetian troops here. I'm not sure where they are or where they're going, but we'll just leave them be for now. They do not seem important. What's more important is uh, we have absolute control over Egypt. And conveniently, Greek forces who are just passing through to deal with that whole Aquitaine business are taking on small forces as they try and draw up over here. So this actually... Uh, this works. Italy is looking quiet for now. Oh, and what's this? One of the biggest flipping pagan kingdoms going wants to move over to Hellenism. That's going to be expensive. I don't really have the money for this right now, but honestly, I'm, I'm not going to say no. Because you, you, my good man, control a lot of land. Land very close by to Catholic Europe, and I'd rather you convert to me than those gets. Okay, for now, the Pope just seems to be focused on, yeah, tossing stuff at me. He's just tossing large amounts of stuff, and I just keep winning. So, uh, for the time being, this is working. Also, I do not have enough commanders. Why do I never have enough commanders? Right, King of Sicily. You look really good at sieging, actually. Right, welcome aboard. King of Bulgaria too. You've both got male heirs, so if you happen to die, that's fine. The leader of the Orthodox Church is still hanging around, so why not, I suppose? And uh, you're not spectacular, but flat terrain and mountain expert, that's not bad. Though I will need to, yes, yeah, stop you doing your job if I want you to be a commander. So go on and get down over there and do the commanding. Okay, local boats over here around Lycia can carry about 10,000 people. That should be enough to get all of you guys down over here as soon as possible. Pope's retreating for now. That is not going to last. You get on the boats, get over there. That is possibly guys who are going to try and do something. I know there's some raiders here. I just don't really want to deal with them right now. We can send Bulgaria to deal with them closer to the time. Yeah, speaking of which, Bulgaria coming in over there. My forces just grouping up in Serbia. This is fine as a starting point, but I need more men down over here because it's going to take, yeah, a while for these guys to get over here. First things first, we just lock down the territory we need to lock down in Egypt before we do anything else, even if we take a handful of losses in Italy or Croatia. That's acceptable. And here we go, another very easy victory right over here. So, some good early victories against the Pope here. This is this is good stuff. Good, good stuff. And actually, we've also got ourselves... Uh, why not? Hang on. Just capturing more people here. Are we now... Why are we not... Guys, why are we not sieging? And yes, indeed, we've got Hellenists. Everybody loves Hellenists. Though, uh, yeah, it's going to take some money to actually uh, make them all properly convert. Money I don't necessarily have, and here we go. Here comes the papacy. So right now they're just chilling out in this part of the world. Keep a really, really close eye on them. This is why I want to have, yeah, reinforcements coming in. I'm worried about the Pope when he gets everything together. In fact, with another 3,000 joining him, that's 12,000. That's too much. Begin moving south. Move away from the Pope, please. Move away from the Pope till the reinforcements get here. Okay, so Venice has still got 5,000 troops here, but they've now got another 5,000 over here. So my primary army, these are some of my finest troops from Serbia, they can just destroy them. That's not a problem. No major sign of trouble here as yet. Obviously, we could siege down the Pope's territory in this part of the world, Apparently, we won this fight here. That must have been a close thing, but we just got away with that. That's nice. In fact, could we intercept you? We probably could. You're about to move over here. Ah, but I can't move over there because the mountains are too steep. Fine, stay where you are for now. In fact, you know what? Move over here. Any chance you can take that down? No, not even close. Yeah, the Pope's bringing it all together. All right, he is forming the Papal Megazord, and then I'm guessing he's moving in. So we should be keeping our distance from him for now. Alexandria will give me a bit of visibility. That's all fine. Just loop around the outside, get over to here, out of the way, and then form a new, bigger army in that part of the world. 
Okay, one northern Catholic army. I don't even know who the hell you guys are. You've just run into the army of Croatia, who was on the field for some reason. So that's taking care of itself. Hungary doesn't dare invade. They know they can't actually do anything. Ditto Poland. They've got nothing. So deploy my best generals over here. And yeah, just smash the forces of Venice. We double outnumber them. That should be no problem. Forces of Rome are going to lose sooner or later. This territory is... Uh, Oh yeah, it's plains, because yeah, it's the big wide Latium Valley, so that's all absolutely fine. But, reinforcements are piling in. We've got another 7,000 here, we've got about six, 7,000 inside this boat. Yeah, there's 6,000 right there. Just going to bring my forces over to here, bring them all together, and then we just need to destroy the Pope's armies. This is why Egypt was always going to be the trickiest fight, because uh, yeah, it's out of the way of most of my troops. So, okay. You guys, if you would like to just, yeah, start unloading over here, that is great. You guys both get on the boat simultaneously. That's another 8,000 troops right there. I'll send the boats back. These aren't my boats, by the way. These boats belong to my vassals, I think, anyway. The extra cost is coming from, yeah, the fact these are retinues. They're expensive to maintain, which is why I don't really want them involved in pitch battles, unless I'm very confident they're going to be winning. So, uh, how are you guys doing, by the way? You guys are moving in the right direction. Just head down south, destroy Venice right over there. We've lost a siege. That's okay. That's just raiders. That's not the crusade. That's not a problem at all. And uh, my daughter is not well. Okay, well, just send the docs to deal with her. I'm not sure why you're bothering me with that right now. Okay, Pope is on the move right now. He's heading over towards... Ah, he's trying to catch me. No, 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 flee away. But the problem is, uh, yeah, the supply limits around here are very low. All I need is one really solid engagement with a proper army against the Pope. Then we'll be in good shape. Oh, that reminds me. I never called you guys up, did I? Right, would you guys like to get involved? Oh, a thousand troops. Well, you know what? Every little helps. Just start moving them down in this direction. Meanwhile, battles kicked off versus Venice here. This should be a walkover. These are my best commanders with my best troops versus, yeah, there's not even a commander on one of the flanks here. And these guys just give up. That's what I want to see. There's a force of, that's Sardinia. So this is fine. This is what we want to see. We're eliminating everybody's forces one by one here. All right, this is what we wanted. Because now we've significantly damaged Venice. Over here, this here is Sardinia. We're now going to go over there and significantly damage them too. And uh, is the Pope on his way? Where are you trying to get to? No, you're fleeing. You're fleeing south. Okay. Bring the armies together here. That is what we needed to see. Are you guys... There's another 8,000. Okay. This is going to be difficult in terms of supply limits, but if you're already, yeah, you're already locked. So just land the troops over here. There's a small force of a Malfi, some Knights Templar and whatever. But now I've got about, yeah, 22,000 troops present and correct. In comes Italy, but that's not that many ships, so it can't be that many troops. We just smash the Papal Army down over here in the desert. Then we mop up all of this, potentially splitting the army in two. Venice is wasting its time going after Crete here. That does not really matter that much. Okay, is everything else okay for the time being? I think everything else is okay. In fact, you know what? Bulgaria's troops are now ready to cross over. So you guys get over here. And take down this papal city. That'll be a good starting point. These forces are about to lose. But Greece is about to just march like 10,000 men straight through this area. Which is very bloody convenient. They'll probably just run into the forces of Romaine by accident. Okay, just watch the Pope carefully here. Because, ah, hang on. There's 4,000 papal troops right there. That Are you guys now committed to, to landing? Okay, yes you are, but I am willing to use those guys to basically just catch you out of position so that the main force can just destroy you. Because that's 5,000 papal troops. That's not nothing. That we do want taken care of. So uh, this is fine. Everything's under control. My best generals are now present and correct here. So you guys are just going over there. Where did the Pope just go? I don't know, but 
Here we go. This looks like this is about to be a very major fight here. Yep, this is now going to be a fight of 20,000 versus 16,000. And the Pope actually has... He's got the advantage for now. Somehow. How did that happen? But his flanks collapsed. And his centers collapsed too. And more importantly, we've got ourselves... Who are you guys? You're now on your 47 men. It's not that useful to me, but yes, how opportune. 47 men who are about to die. Uh, okay, this is going to be a destructive fight, but we have won against the Pope's main army right there. And more's coming in too. They're just sending more and more and more, and they're throwing it all in. If I could win this fight before no reinforcements just showed up, but they're actually showing up to a battle that's already been lost. They're just tossing everything in to a battle that is not winnable. Oh, this is... This is very good news, actually. They just threw everything in the entirety of flipping Egypt, and we got ourselves... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Did we just get ourselves a leader of... I was kind of assuming you were going to be the Duke of... The Duke of Ferrara. No, you just run the Catalan band. That's less impressive. Oh, but we do have the flipping Grand Master of one of the Knights groups. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we have got some good stuff there. That was a pretty damn major victory, actually. <laughs> okay, this is this is fine. So that's now 10,000 troops who are just on the move. I don't know how far they're going to try and flee, but I feel like we should probably go and take care of them before they regroup. Because, well... Unless there's no, the supply limits around here are terrible. Okay, this is... This is a problem. Alright, bring you guys together into 16,000. If I pursue, I'm going to start taking some serious damage. Ah, yes, yeah, so my forces did actually defeat the Sardinians. They took a handful of knocks, but nothing too major. You guys are now fleeing in disgrace. Croatia's doing a good job. There's a handful of Catholics up north here, but it's nothing too much to worry about. And now Bulgaria's here... That should be a-okay. Ah, but here's good news. We've got ourselves reinforcements ready to go. Another 4,000 men ready to swing south. So they can come down over here and start sieging down this territory. That's already a little bit weak because, yeah, the Pope already raised some of the vassals there. So that should not be too difficult to take out. Okay, I'm going to make my troops fall back over here. We're just going to get my morale back up. We're going to take a moment to recharge and whatnot. And yeah, 4,000 troops over here can just start the sieging. So what else do we actually have uh, left? Nothing too dramatic, but these boats can just stay here. They're not my boats. Those are levy boats. They can just keep an eye on what's going on. We're doing some good work over here. Momentarily, 4,000 men will be doing some good work over here. My forces over here have the advantage of a minor river crossing, which is good. The boats can keep an eye. You guys are probably fleeing to join up with... Uh, these guys. I see no other reinforcements coming in, so we might have just broken their backs. Ah, hang on. They're starting to separate out regardless, and... Uh, okay, Dutchie's just been created. I'm pretty sure that's this territory up over here. No problem there. So, okay. We can just start working on this while you guys flee north. So, even if you join up with these guys, you've only got about uh, 12,000. I should be able to handle that, especially as I'm reinforcing too. Then again, all these little armies are reinforcing a lot faster. And, okay, we have more important things to worry about, but I did support the Greens previously. Hooray for the Greens. Uh, okay, what else do we, what else do we have here? 8,000 troops and, hello over there. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Oh, bloody hell, that's... Ah, I'll have the advantage. I can get there first. Yes, you guys stay where you are. And then this over here, this is uh, hills. So we're just going to chase these guys down, please. And sadly, I've lost some prestige because I supported the wrong charioteering team. And just as I was hoping for, Greece is just bulldozing its way through northern Italy, causing an awful lot of disruption as it goes to go and claim Aquitaine. And here we go. My vassals are all flipping Hellenic due to their education, which is good because they were starting to get annoyed about vassals raised. Now they're Hellenic. They will not care anymore because they are more civilized than they used to be. 
Okay, Pope's moving back in. Those forces are staying where they are. 7,700 troops. I've got my 16,000. Nice and safe here for the time being. Couple of small forces here. That's Norway and the weird, crazy Irish kingdom. Bringing in my 4,000 back up over here. Keep them on the far side of a major river. That'll keep them safe. I think they're trying to intercept, but they won't be able to make it far enough, fast enough. So morale of these guys is going to be low. Okay, we need to intercept these guys. So they're about to try and move into a desert. Honestly, that kind of works for me. Admittedly, there's, there's a river here, which is not great. But it's a small river. It's a very small river. I'm probably happy to actually, yeah, just go straight over and... The end. Hang on, just, just take this, please. There we go. Just, just take that over. There we go. We got something at the bare minimum. I'm happy to just basically see if I can just... Uh, scare them off because they're not locked into position yet and there's plenty of good desert over here then again with a numerical advantage and also commander advantage this large screw it i'm willing to just engage in the battle to avoid chasing them around the deserts of supply limit problems so uh, wait for him to be locked because actually okay they're all being locked on sorry they were locked on Oh, sorry, that's arrive versus lock. I was confused there for a second. Okay, now you're locked, and now I'm going to murder you. Okay, over in Serbia, small forces just being chased off. Nothing too dramatic here. That's the Northern European power starting to show up in Southern Italy. Things looking a bit more fighty. We have got Venice. We've got who are you? I don't even know who the hell you are. Then we got ourselves, yeah, Greece just scuffling with those bastards again. Whoever that is. Also, what are you talking about right now? No, 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 no. Just just naff off, alright? I'll make my own decisions about marriage when the time is right. Everything's under control. We're fine. We'll destroy these guys again. Plus 12% is not bad, given we've got some good sieging going on. In fact, that's 2.5. Why are we not just moving in? Please take that. Thank you. That's, that's very good. So there we go. We've got this down. We've got more coming in momentarily. All these forces, well, actually, if they were to join together, that could be a problem. 6,000, that's not that much. Possibly I've got too much over here and not enough in Italy right now. I need to pick these guys apart sooner rather than later. Okay, this is fine. This battle is the important one. I've got all my, yes, all my best commanders are ready and waiting to ambush the papal forces. In fact, actually, 2,000 of them just straight up cowered it out. There's some more Hellenic people. That is good news. So now we are ready to basically destroy you. We are winning battles all over the place here. And when the Pope's in trouble, everyone just powers in to try and reinforce him. But it's a terrible idea because it means you're just trapped in a battle that, you know, you're already losing. So this is all bad news. And then again, actually, that's... It's looking a bit dicey for me. I mean, once again, we're going to win, but it's going to be close. And you coward. You absolute coward. You just gave up. And I really don't care about this guy. Okay, we're losing a lot of troops here, but so is the Pope. Once again, we've cleared out pretty much everything he's got here, which is kind of a good thing. That is, yeah, that's some more knights, I believe. So, okay. Another good victory right over there. In fact, you know what? You guys go and take care of this. At this point, you guys get over here and... Uh, supply limits are crazy. But get over here and start sieging down the territory we need to take out. Supply limits here is much more generous and we do need to take out that territory. So, screw it. Get over here and deal with that first. Okay. Here's interesting. It would appear that all these forces are just planning to try and cross the strait. Though whether I'll be able to make it there in time and... Okay, who... Who are you? I don't know who you are, but... As you're actually doing a competent job against the Knights Templar, I am very happy to just uh, send in reinforcements. So deploy my best generals, who all have the ability to teleport, which is great. And then get down over here and just take them out. Because you should get there in like no time at all. Then swing around here when you're done and try and guard the crossing. Admittedly, you'll never get there in time. But I don't really want to, yeah, redirect to Bulgaria. They're doing a good job sieging down a papal territory. And that's how we're going to win this in the long run. So that's, that's important. So you guys are fine for the time being. Nothing dramatic's going on there. You're just marching down over here. And you guys want more money. 
You can have more money. Hellenism is important, damn it. And now, now we're going to absolutely trash these guys. They're going to be destroyed. Lovely. Uh, okay, everything's... Everything's going fine. Everything's under control. You guys have been absolutely trashed there. So there's only so much more you can do. I know some people are running out of money. Because at least one group of mercenaries has gone a bit mad and attacked me. That's England, isn't it? No, that's Wales. That's Wales as just showed up. I mean, I say this. There's no actual independent force of Wales. So I'm not sure who you guys are or where you came from. Okay, I'm starting to get confused as to where these guys are planning to go because now they're just sort of wandering all over the shop where are you guys going constantinople zeta via a convoluted route i'm not sure okay the biggest drama at the moment is probably happening in this part of the world as my 9,000 core troops are just yeah heading back home to defend against these small handful of invasions and uh, okay there might be about to be a fight here i don't know where you're planning to go precisely don't let them unify though if we can pick them apart bit by bit that should minimize casualties so okay you guys just uh come together for the time being that's all absolutely fine now there's a small force up here that's nothing to uh, worry about you guys get over to i don't know where the bloody hell you're going okay you locked by the way yes you're locked moving into this territory that is hills, so we're just going to take this 3,000 out. That's a good starting point. You, meanwhile, are making good progress over there, down in Egypt. Yeah, you guys are just kicking out these guys, and then we will start our own sieging and counter-sieging. I don't know who you guys are, but you're here, so welcome, I suppose. Get down over here, join up with this small force. I'm going to deploy some of my boats back up towards Zeta, in case we need to summon up, uh, you know any lovely lovely mercenaries as reinforcements okay guys you can probably just walk into that one to be perfectly honest given that one whatever it was i assume the trade port had like no defense okay so we're winning battles here this is good and all right i'm guessing that there is a mercenary army given its lovely round numbers these small forces over here are actually being annoyingly fast. I'm struggling to catch them, though. I think I've actually got this one now, which is good. So, okay, we can destroy you. That's not a problem. Meanwhile, down over here, yeah, my main force has caught these mercenaries out of position. I think they actually had, like, no morale, so that's not a problem at all either. So, in which case, my wife is pregnant. That's good. So, okay, you guys, get down over here. Assist with all of this nonsense. Can you actually be? You literally can't be there. You can be here though. So yeah, get on with just sieging. Actually, you know what? Move back over here. Take the territory that is the core territory we're fighting over first. So now we are sieging that down. The Pope has been beaten up several times. You guys need to be taken out. But once that's done, there's not much left and not much fought. So we'll be able to take this down. 19% plus. This is... This is fine. It's a bit slow, but it's not bad. It is working. And these forces just seem to be scattering to the winds. Because honestly, a thousand men, there's not much a thousand men can do in terms of sieging. And up north, yeah, Hungary and Poland just do not dare invade. Because they know there's nothing they can do. So once that's done, we probably need to come back over here and intercept these forces. Those are probably the most dangerous guys we've got right now. You're doing a competent job, just keep doing what you're doing. The raiders seem to have naffed off, they got bored, they couldn't carry any more gold, that's fine. Trebizond's under attack from a fairly large host here, but I don't really care. Okay, the Pope's back for round three, but he's looking really, really tired at this point. So I don't know what he's planning to do, but we should be able to handle him fairly easily with this main army at this point. Deploy my personal troops back to Zeta. The Knights Templar are not giving up. Siege is going fine. This is starting to calm down. I think I've actually, yes, yeah, significantly damaged a very large number of troops. Plus, Greece is doing a lovely job just expanding over here. So well done, you guys. Ah, but we've got trouble here. So the Pontifex Maximus has gained a rash. Okay, keep an eye on that. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, my doctor says it's nothing serious. Okay, that's reassuring. That's very reassuring. Okay, and uh, he's clad my bed in wet grass. But apparently I'm thrilled about that, so good. 
Although, weirdly, the Pope seems to be hanging out over here. Why are the Knights Templar attacking Antioch right now? I don't know. Are you guys raiding or something? Because something weird's going on. Yeah, the Knights Templar has occupied this region, yet officially... Hang on, so attacking you in... Okay, it's just a small de jure business. That's good. That's keeping 4,000 troops busy. Pope seems to be backing off for the time being, which is good. That means Egypt is now uncontested. There is a force coming in over here. I don't really want to fight them in the mountains, but that's the problem with all that nonsense. You're locked to moving on to the mountains. Mountains are huge. I'm not going to take you on there. I'm just going to see what you want to do next. So, okay, what you want to do next is attack me. How are we doing in terms of money? I mean, we're spending money, but not too much, really, in the grand scheme of things. So, keep on keeping on here. And you know what? You're ready to just move in and take these guys. And oh, bloody hell. Okay, that was... Maybe not. Maybe just never, never assault, like, 5.5 forts. That's, that's just a thing you don't do. Fine. Lesson learned, again... And what are you guys doing, by the way? There's reinforcements coming in. I don't know who those guys are, but they're coming ashore. You've decided to abandon this siege. And now there's a small force over here. Right, it was just like 200 men. Nothing major at all. Just let you know, nature do its own thing over there. Do not try and rush any of that. Also, well done, Bulgaria. Sorry, didn't congratulate you, but you did just take a really big chunk out of uh, Georgia. You know what, I'm just going to wait for these guys to come onto some flat land. Sooner or later, they'll be down over here. We can just come and grab them then. So now you're trying to move into uh, Astabus. That's hills. Okay, I'm willing to come and meet you in Astabus. We'll just move in that direction down towards where you want to be. And the Pope is coming in over here. They're trying to take this territory that we took back. Do I want to bother trying to take this territory? Okay, I'm going to finish taking this territory, then I'll come and smash you. It's going to take you a while to do. And there we go. Benevento has finally fallen organically. And now, now we can just walk through the rest of it without being too worried about things. Good, 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 good. Here we go. 6,000 troops now on hills with my best commanders. We should be able to just uh, walk in. So now you're going to be trapped there. Absolutely lovely. Just head over there. Destroy them. With my best commanders and 50% more men, we should be able to just straight up destroy you. No problem whatsoever. I mean, I say that. That's a little bit slower progress than I thought. And uh, the great conversion of... Wait, Lithuania? Did... Did I convert Lithuania? When did I convert Lithuania? I thought I converted... Oh, okay, you guys have just changed your name to Lithuania, have you? I swear you weren't Lithuania a while ago, but yes, you may have another church. Here you go, giant pile of church. Okay, we're winning some sieges, but actually this, this fight is not, it's not going, it's not gone well. Okay, we've just, we've just lost a fight right over there. That is not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so you guys are now being chased out. Sorry about that. I really thought you... Oh, never mind. Hang on, are you... Did you just win that fight by yourself? Oh my goodness, you absolute massive badass. You, wow. Give that man a medal or like a new honorary title. Yes, you may now be the keeper of the dead for all the dead you just created. Okay, you guys, just get in over here. That's a 2.1, so just walk in, take all. In fact, you know what? Take it all. Just take absolutely all of it. I think they've managed to, yeah, take that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, two days, uh, one days, just get in over here. This will be no trouble whatsoever. That one's more trouble. Do we know where the Pope is right now? Go and, uh, go and investigate. Excuse me. Excuse the flip out of me. You guys should very much not be where you are. Actually, you stay where you are, by the way. Just finish that siege. Uh, okay, so, sorry, didn't realise you were going to be... The Pope's trying to attack these guys. That kind of works for me. There's only 4,000 of them. Give them some commanders, not the best ones, but give them just, like, some commanders. You guys have our best commanders right now. Secondary commanders, try and defend here because you've got a significant advantage with the river crossing. And I will have reinforcements coming in as soon as I can, alright? 
You, by the way, can just take care of this. There we go. This is now starting to swing in my favor very fast. You guys need to go and just chill out for a bit. This is all under control. But then again, there's, there's a lot of troops around here. Quite a lot of troops. Actually, it will be faster if I go and relieve these settlements. Because uh, the settlements over here that have been taken that shouldn't have been. You finish off this. That should take you, like, no time at all. Okay, that's now been fully taken. You guys, start marching north. Take this nonsense out, all right? Reclaim that. We should be about where we need to go. You're going to easily win this lot. That shouldn't be a problem in the slightest. These are my finest troops. So the Pope is going to... Yeah, what's going on down over here? Because now we've got two battles happening side by side. And I can pile in reinforcements, but it looks actually like you guys are doing a very, very good job. These guys have now been chased off. It looks like actually you're going to win by yourselves. But just for safety, send reinforcements down south, all right? I want that battle definitely won. Got ourselves a new daughter, Parthena. That's a name we've seen floating around before. She shall be Parthena. She's not a son, so she's not that exciting. And who the flip are you and why are you actually attacking me. I don't know who you are, but you're being a dick, apparently. Okay, um, just plot to kill. Who's on board with that? Because, wow, 79% already. Uh, okay. Anybody good? Oh, 40%. Yes, okay, so send some gifts out. Send some really nice gifts of just, like, you know, money. I don't know who this guy is precisely or why he's causing trouble for me, but he shall not survive to do it. How long do we have to, uh, to murder him? Okay, two years. That should be plenty of time here. Meanwhile, okay, that's going fine over there. Over here, you're just marching- Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse the flip me. I mean, good attempt. Good attempt, but no, not allowed. Meanwhile, this force engaged the papal forces in the mountain. Do not lose a Benevento. We spent a lot of time conquering that. As soon as we just do a little bit more here, we should be A-OK. -okay. And young Polyphemus. Ah, he's 14. So, okay. Right now, we could have charitable. Chance of charitable or loses affectionate, but the game says gains kind. Kind is good. Kind's very good. Because you're not very intriguey anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll go for kind. Beautiful. That's not bad at all. So, in come the reinforcements over here. And, uh, all right, I'm going to give you some beautiful, beautiful money or something. Hang on, just send him... Uh, Send Marshal Despot Zeus to... Wait, where are we sending him? I don't know where we're sending him, but, like, we're going to send him somewhere, sure. Okay, Pope has been defeated, like, again. Everybody's on board with killing whoever this dick is, because I've sent them money, so they'll be doing that. Good, 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 good. Pope, naff off. Lovely. So, okay, what's next on my to-do list? Uh, screw it. Just take this territory so it's done. Because once we're done with that, and that's Polyphemus again. I'm sorry, I'm not giving you ambitious. It's not worth it. The risk of me being killed is too high. You guys, over here, just start taking this out. Uh, actually, you know what? The force of 2,700. You guys get over here and head down south, please. These forces should be, uh, relatively easy to knock over. Actually, that's a 5.5, so that's going to take a little while. But we're up to 57%, and that is with... Hang on, what was going on over here? Yes, you're going to try and flee, but I'm not going to let you. I really wouldn't mind going to relieve this nonsense, you know. That would be good. There's 2,500 right there trying to take out my capital. Okay, you know what? I'm going to call up a handful of mercenaries just to uh, help push this over the line. I don't necessarily expect them to, you know, win the war by themselves or anything. But, yeah, just, you know, the Roos company, that's absolutely fine. So, you guys just chill out over there. Get in this boat, get up here, and then just throw yourselves at these here walls. Three, two, one. Yeah, 2.5 fort level, just knock it over. 67%, that's a 2.1. Three, two, it was three, two, one, but whatever. And, honestly, I... I don't know why we... Do we like her that much? Apparently, we like my daughter for some reason. That's absolutely fine. As I was saying, three, two, one. Getting over there. Knock that down to 82%. Good, 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 good. So that's that fully taken. You're sieging that down. You get up over here 
and we might be able to wrap this up very quickly. You get up over here. The Russian company is just going to storm this territory. Do we win against these guys? Uh, well, there's there's Knights Templar coming in. So that's, that's absolutely fine. You guys get ashore over here and then immediately just siege down this territory. The Greek forces are doing some good work over there. We have captured more mercenary leaders who have got themselves fancy whatevers. You're doing a good job over here. Well done. Uh, okay, so you guys are now in position. And yeah, there's 115 people there. Take it back. Just take it back. Just, just get in there and sort it out. Uh, we actually taken all of this. At this point. Yes, we've now taken that territory back. So that's now 90%. Okay, this is good. This is good stuff. We're just rushing our way through this now. Just need to find a handful more victories somewhere. That's a 5.5. Never assault a 5.5. Won't take too long though, because yeah, Andronicus is very good at sieging. He's got the siege leader trait. So that's, that's all a okay. You guys are doing okay down over there. Actually, you know what, guys? Why are you doing that? Get over here and relieve the siege on Alexandria. That's got to be... That's got to be costing me, right? Like, that's got to be costing me a huge amount. Yeah, that's minus 17%. If we just take that back right now, that should be it. We should have won. So, get back over there. In fact, you know what? Just, just get that done right now. Ignore literally everything else. I think we've won if we just take that back. Boom. That's it. 100%. So, I will be accepting you guys' total surrender at this point. Enforce my demands. Cur flipping boom. Okay, so we're gonna be, um, creating some new vassals, obviously. Also, I still hold the, um, the Duchy of Simia, which I do not need for, like, anything. So I don't know why I've got that, but to do. I think I just forgot to give it to the new Duchess of Bosnia, so you can just have that. That's, that's fine. But what's actually quite hilarious is, that is not the Duchy of Alexandria, because, uh, yeah, the flipping Knights Templar or someone still actually have uh, one at tiny castle down over here. And I've also got all this land I'm not doing anything with, so... Okay, the game is saying my son ought to be landed. Well, here's some beautiful land for him. Okay, before he naffs off, though, let's just get him married to somebody, you know, good. And honestly, there's not... It's not a great selection, really, because there's not that many Hellenic people in the world. Screw it, just invent a new woman for him. Oh, look at that, perfect. She's lustful, just what I wanted. Right, they're married, here you go, have yourself some territory. Because as I understand it, if they're just sitting around in my court, then they're not really going to do much, including not really having children. They're more likely to have children if I go and, you know, land them somewhere. So let's get them nice and landed. And we'll also just invent the Duchy of Alexandria so that I can give that straight to you. You can just have that. Dukes can just have what they want. That's fine. I can't be bothered with handing out every single duchy. Kingdoms can be vice royalties. Duchies, it's fine. You can't have Alexandria, though. I'm holding on to Alexandria for myself. Gonna be honest, Theseus. Not thrilled by your new haircut, but you can't have everything, I guess. Also, I have apparently paused work on a brand new pyramid. I can't actually resume work on the pyramid because to build pyramids, I either need to be Egyptian, Coptic, utterly bananas, or have a religion that enjoys building pyramids. None of which are true. So I guess that means we're just going to have an uncompleted pyramid in my empire. Like maybe some form of great trapezium of Khufu or whatnot. Still, while we've been doing that, Lithuania, as it's now called, has been spreading Hellenism. There is some good Hellenism going on all over the shop here, including right here, just flipping taunting Catholicism. And over here in southern France too. Southern France is coming round nicely. Okay, this is starting to look good. Now, the problem is threat is just getting ridiculously out of hand at this point. So... Okay, with over 50% threat, all defensive packs of all religious groups will band together. So, okay. Now as a result of all of this nonsense, yeah, if I actually just try and, you know, claim anything from anybody, then the flipping Islamic factions next to me will be coming in. That I can do without. Those guys are strong. Especially as right now I've only got about, yeah, 31,000 troops. It says 37,000 because, ah, retinues and also hired, got it. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be honest. I thought that was going to be not so bad. My plan was to go straight into immediately punching these guys in the face. Like, again. Because, you know, they're going to be weak right now. Is anybody dumb enough to not be in a defensive pact with me at the minute? Yeah, at this point I really have no choice but to just wait for threat to go down to at least under 50%. I will say, I love Crusader Kings 2, I love it so so much, but I really hope the threat system is reworked in Crusader Kings 3, because yeah, sometimes it does just become a bit of a roadblock. Still, a bit of time passing is not the worst thing in the world, because... Okay, you just dropped dead. Um, who's your successor, by the way? And... Right, so that, that didn't work out. Sadly, that did not stick at all. Dear oh flipping dear. Well, maybe if we're lucky, there'll be a few people floating around in that empire who are actually Hellenic. Not the air, though. Okay, that's a shame. So we've actually lost a bit of, uh... Bit of Lithuania there. Well, not actually Lithuania anymore. This guy just ate everything. So yeah, he's got a carne of Lithuania and Pomerania and a few other bits and pieces too. Okay. I mean, maybe because he's actually, yeah, part of a religion with moral authority of zero, he'll come and ask to be converted because if he'd like to do that, that'd be great. Plus, this territory will probably fall apart. He's 63 and he's tribal, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be stuck on, like, gavel kind or something. Yep, there we go, elective gavel kind, precisely. Plus, yeah, my own troops were more battered than I was expecting, and my vassals too, so uh, we could do with the rest. I was planning to, yeah, just roll straight onto the next wall, but threat is too high and my forces took too many knocks. I mean, to be fair, the Greeks are just going to do a good job continuing to expand. It's just a shame they're expanding it, you know, the wrong direction. And my guys are just going nuts, by the way. There are holy wars going on everywhere. Basically, I've just given my vassals the tools to expand like crazy. So the reason Greece is going nuts over here is because they're just holy warring everybody. And now Thrace and Bulgaria are just holy warring the Romain-held bits of Bavaria. So uh, sooner or later, they might do this work for me. And in all fairness, time passing is not bad, because time passing means more Hellenic territory, and that makes my territory more secure. Here we go, verifying which bits of the empire are or are not Hellenic. So blue is Hellenic, green is not. So it's not perfect yet, but it's a good start. And my doctor was right, the rash has gone away. Good, we're not dying yet. And here we go, the adventurer. Plan to assassinate him approved. Let's see if we can just uh, get rid of him. Because we got ourselves plenty of... What's going on over there? Oh, that's just this bit of the empire. We don't pay attention to this bit of the empire. Though I will say, having taken that bit of Georgia, well done. We do actually have a reunified empire. Aside from, like, this bit up here. Oh, um, okay. So, the, um, the Pope just declared war on me. Um, hang, hang the flip on, what do you... How do we not have a truce? I, I literally just, like, had a war. It was against you. You're not a new Pope, are you? You're the, you're the same Pope as... That's the same Pope, but the Pope has just attacked me. And I'm not sure how he's done that without breaking a truce, but... Mate, I just kicked your ass and all of Europe. Together, you're not gonna beat me single-handedly. Well, if you're absolutely determined to, the forces of Sicily will take down this city again, and the forces of Greece will be shipped over to assist with whatever tiny army you've got left over after I just finished kicking your ass last time. Ah, but then again, we could make some serious money doing this. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's do it. You want to give me over a grand? You can give me over a grand. Forces of Anatolia can actually help out with that nonsense too. So, yeah, we'll just pick all of them up. That's another seven, 8,000. So that's about 15,000. No way in hell you're going to be able to keep up with all of that nonsense. I don't need to actually mobilize my own troops. I will just rest them. And then again, actually, if I don't need my own troops, then they could be getting on with uh, something else, which is, yeah, actually, I may not be able to go to war with you dicks, but... I am a pagan, and Romaine has got to be in bad shape right now. Yeah, Romaine is 
in a lot of trouble. They've got very few troops. And on top of that, yeah, they've got Thrace and Bulgaria bleeding down their necks. Deploy the forces of Croatia, Bosnia, and Epirus. You guys just, uh, meet up over here in Rome. I have no idea what the Pope is planning here, but whatever, we will simply destroy him. Absolutely destroy him. His 74 light cavalry will gain a desert advantage. Well, oh no, whatever shall we do. Meanwhile, this territory is being sieged down again. So that's, that's just marvellous. And my troops are coming in to begin raiding up north. So what on earth were you planning? What was your plan with this stupid war? You know you can't win it. You're just going to give me a thousand pounds. It's great. Oh, who'd have thought it? They're collapsing in the face of my superior and numerically superior troops. Hilariously, no one has decided to join the Pope on this occasion. Everyone's just decided, you know what? Maybe best we just let him uh, get on with this one by himself. Which is great, because that means I can just siege down all of this territory and get myself, you know, some lovely free money. Because these troops are, yeah, a combination of retinues and vassals. So we should be making... Yeah, we're going to be making some very, very good money here. By the way, this new force I've just created, and you know, is, oh, I can't actually put these guys into raid mode because I'm no longer at peace. Well, that's frustrating. Guess we better just uh, use them to sort that out. Greece is obviously marching more troops north because they're going to do it. They're just going to take all of Aquitaine. There's no chance in hell they're not. Yep, 90% in his favour right now. So... Greece is doing brilliantly. I just wish they were expanding in the other direction, but whatever. And Polyphemus also comes of age. This is, uh, this is marvellous. Okay, he's looking... That's pretty good. It's not spectacular, but it's okay. And you, my good man, want to... Oh, that's, that's not that exciting. That's a very small amount of territory, but sure, why not? We'll help you out a bit. Looks like we can catch some more troops out of position over here. So we'll have a slight disadvantage, but barely even matters. These are our... Nope, our good commanders have been dismissed for some reason. Get them straight back up again. Get them on here. Murder these guys. This is... This was such a bad war by you guys. I don't even know what you're doing. This was just an awful, awful war. You don't have the money for mercenaries. You don't have any allies to call up whatsoever. And uh, yep, this random county is going to be pagan. That's good, I guess. Okay, you guys just work on that. There we go. Just get in there. Sort that out. Keep on keeping on. 36% and rising. And okay, you're claiming that so-and-so is guilty of heresies. You're Hellenic, and pretty sure he's Hellenic. Honestly, I trust him. He's always done a good job, so no, no, no. Keep the information to myself. That guy's always been a good guy. Ah, yes, the 12,000 men over at Benevento have got through all the difficult bits, so we can just start chunking through this. That's 4% a go. Absolutely lovely. You guys just uh, stay standing. Just for the moment, that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. There's some nonsense going on down over here. Stay out of the way of that business. So, okay, we've just got ourselves some nice, easy sieging as needs to be done. Also, that adventurer is almost ready to attack us, and we've only got one more chance to, uh, to finish him off. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And uh, the conspiracy is being revealed. Okay, so everyone knows I am a killer. But we don't have to deal with that bastard anymore. So honestly, I'll take it. That's fine. Also, we're entering a prosperous age. So uh, morale up, tax up, revolt risk down. That lasts for, okay, a long time. I'm down for that. Okay, we're through the main territories now. So we can start cutting through the very badly armoured ones uh, really, really fast. So uh, screw it. Your popiness, this was a stupid idea. And we're going to prove that to you. By saying, oh, 99%. Okay, 5, 4, 3, unless you're going to read. No, that's a 5.5. Screw it, just get in there, take it, storm all these cities. 100%. Right, you're popiness. I'll be helping myself to a giant pile of money, actually. 
Now, as I was saying before the Pope decided to have a bit of a wibble, and some more heresy, that's fine. There's a lot of heresy everywhere. Say okay. What we need to do now is, how about we split these units in half? So yeah, that is 6,000, 6,000. That's not really half, but whatever. So, you guys are now going to be looting. And you're going to go and loot right over here. And you guys are also going to be looting. You can go and loot in this bit of territory. Sure, why not? So, you're just now going to go and do some looting. We're basically just going to go and loot Romaine. Because Romaine is in no position to defend itself at the minute. Also, currently my steward is... Uh-oh. What just happened over in... Oh. Um... Okay, hang on. Something fairly major just happened. So, right. The King of Wallachia, who was the son of the last guy, you must have died. How did you die? That's sad. Committed suicide at age 42. Okay, well, you were, yes, not well. You were not well in various ways. So, okay, fair enough. So, yes, your son, who is the King of Wallachia, has now decided that he's going to be the King of all of Wallachia. Greater Wallachia, which includes Sicily and large parts of Italy, too. Gonna be honest, not really ready to replace your father as steward, though. Here we go. This is a good opportunity to get the, uh, yeah, Rector of Ragusa on site. So you, my good man, can just collect some taxes, because you're actually not bad at that. This guy will in time want to be on the council, but he's in hiding for now, so he's okay just chilling out doing nothing. And yeah, he's already got himself a lovely Hellenic wife. No children just yet, but give it time. Also, I could really be on, you know, not scholarship focused these days. I could totally be on something else. So uh, yeah, for safety, hunting's always a good one. Get your health, get your bit of extra martial. Bit of extra martial would not hurt. Okay, and now the Pope has to play nice for the next decade, so that's good. Right, so a handful of standing troops stand against us here. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. We will just deal with them and then begin, yes indeed, the raiding. So raiding has begun here and here. I would not mind having, you know what, as I can just make troops stand, you guys aren't doing anything right now. Uh, Bulgaria. Come over here and assist with this nonsense. And yet more beautiful, beautiful expansion. Yeah, so Croatia's now going after Crane, wherever that is. But apparently Italy holds it. So I'm guessing it's, yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, now this, this is positive. They're actually moving in the right direction to potentially assist with taking Venice in the long run. Oh, and Greece's war's over. They actually did the job. Well done. Okay, so... Uh, my vassals are actually expanding much more easily than I am at the minute, which is lovely. Okay, the looting has begun. We've also managed to take the tongue of a great hero. Okay, we've got that. We've got this territory right here. We've started getting through their good stuff. So now we can just start, yeah, tearing through it very, very fast indeed. This is going to take no time whatsoever. That's worth a big old pile of money right over there. In fact, actually, that's the basic money. It's definitely worth more than that because, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on the money right now. So, uh, about 2,770 odd. Just move in right over there, please. Just go and take that. So, that's, yeah, that's definitely jumped more than it says uh, right there. We've definitely actually got more than it says. So, we've got a bit of money right there. And there's nothing you idiots can do about it. Yep, we're just basically walking in, taking whatever it is we feel like we want. We're burning this to the ground. That's been burnt to the ground now. So, okay, start burning down something else to the ground, please. Because there's no troops nearby that can actually, you know, do anything to stop me. So I can just basically uh, walk in, do whatever I want once we're past this first territory. Then there's nothing there majorly at all. Yep, just walk in. These are just vassal troops. Don't care. There's another few hundred gold. We've made like 500 gold in no time whatsoever. If you guys are gonna have sex, I don't care. That's fine. Small epidemic too. Slow fever. Nothing too dramatic yet though. Keep an eye on if it shows up in Zeta itself. Because I do have some decent resistance to disease. I have actually invested in hospitals and whatnot. Ooh, and here's fun. For a thousand gold, and I've just made about a thousand gold, I could have levy size plus 15% in Zeta. Well, all glory to Zeta. Yes, we'll be having that. Okay, so 
I'd say at this point we've pretty much burnt down literally all of uh, Southern Romaine. Which is good. That's really, really good. So right now, all of that is on fire. We're back up to 3,000 gold. Okay, guys, you folks down in the comments, why didn't you tell me earlier that raiding was a good thing to do? Why am I only learning this now? Come on, folks, you're letting me down. All right, lads, that's enough looting for now. Back to Rome, break yourselves down, and we'll let you rest up for a bit. You could probably do with, yeah, just chilling out for a moment. But that there, that was some good money. Love it. In fact, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do to celebrate how well things are going? We're getting a flipping smith into the courts. And there's that new tongue as well, which is actually worth plus one diplomacy. So that's actually pretty bloody good. Okay, so right now I am using, yeah, quality two armor and a quality two weapon. It's not spectacular, is it? I feel like we could do better than quality two. I don't want a good crown, because I've already got the Imperial Diadem. That's pretty good. The Pontifex Scepter, that's pretty nice as well. The Engraved Dagger, that's good, but I can't actually just make another one of them. I feel like, actually, it's a weapon. We need to get ourselves a weapon. Bearing in mind, of course, the blood of Payrun runs through my veins. Alright, Smiths will strive to please me. And rest in peace, Despot Zeus, you magnificent bastard. You led one a hell of a life. You were supposed to be our next emperor, but Poseidon got the job instead because he was less disfigured than you. Because apparently, if you don't have a face, everybody gets really, really sniffy. But you know what? Zeus was great. We loved Zeus. Zeus was marvellous. So, his son is only six, but he's not looking terrible. He's Greek. He's the right religion. You know what, kid? Help yourself to the Kingdom of Greece and all subregions. That does open up a position for my marshal, and yeah, that kid is too young to want to be on the council. So, okay. Court tutor. You'll do a good job there. Train some troops, please. Here we go. This is my hospital. So, you know what? Screw it. Expand the sick house, please. Let's get that done. Needs to be done sooner or later. These things are positive. Plus, library. I like technology spread rate in Zeta. Because it does border a lot of territories. Speaking of which, here we go. Cavalry can go up to level 4. Won't spend those culture advances yet, though. I'd rather get legalism up to 5. Because Legalism 5, at that point, I think I can get myself some new laws. And just as I was hoping for, Theseus, now that he's actually landed, has started producing children immediately. Love it. And of course, we will be going for an axe. One day, perhaps, we might actually have an axe in our hands that's even close to how good the axe of Perrin was. Give me literally the best axe in the world. 2,000 golds worth of axe. Okay, or possibly things aren't going so well for Duke Theseus. He's been very unlucky and developed cancer at only age 22. Okay, we might be able to keep him alive a little bit, but this means, uh, yeah, actually, Prince Polythemus just became a lot more important. Oh, Theseus... That's really bloody sad. You were an absolute shoo-in to be the next emperor. But now, now it is just not going to work out for you. That is such a shame. Also, by the way, people in Romaine who are currently on fire, thank you so much for all of that money with which I've been able to buy the world's best axe. Oh my goodness. And I even need to give her a name. The Cleaver, the Ravager, or the Marauder. I'm going to be honest, I feel like Poseidon wouldn't go for, you know, any of those names. Like, his name would be something like Tragically Necessary. Something that implies that. But I guess Cleaver is like the least overtly raidery one. Even though I'm aware we do raid, but we don't really talk about it. Okay, Cleaver to represent the fact that in better times, we would only need to use it in the kitchen. So, okay, I've just spent 2,000 gold on this axe. So, this better be really damn good. Light foot troops plus 10%, heavy infantry plus 15%, prestige, martial plus 2, personal combat skill plus 10, and for some reason it's slightly, um, it's slightly purple. I mean, okay, sure, we will get that sorted out, so yeah, that should get you up to 
Martial of 15 in a second. There we go. One extra point of Martial. I'll never say no, but let's be perfectly honest. The Axe of Pay Run is uh, right there. That was... Uh, Actually, that was light foot troops plus 20%. This is heavy infantry plus 15. That's more important. Marshall is plus 2, same as before. Though the personal combat skill, yeah, 10 versus 18. Okay, you could make a case that we have finally come up with a weapon that is actually flipping better than the Axe of Payrun, even though it's only quality 3. And I say that purely because... It's actually providing a benefit to heavy troops, not light, who are a lot more important. Oh good, we can just rename it. This weapon shall be called Tragedy, because if I ever have reason to take it into my hands, that will be a tragedy, because that means that diplomacy has failed. And on top of that, it'll be a tragedy for anybody stupid enough to stand in my way. So, we have made progress towards reforming the Roman Empire, albeit slower than I was expecting because the Pope just didn't know when to bloody quit. We have now got ourselves a really, really nice axe. That's the important thing. The Empire's looking a bit different because, yes, Wallachia's suddenly taken huge amounts of territory over. Still, my vassals are doing a really, really, really bloody good job. And so I suspect, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to get a little bit on the, uh, messy side. Because I've got a lot of big wars yet to do, but the entire world keeps being a dick about it. So, uh, I would say we might have to, uh, yeah, just basically say, fine, if the world wants to kill me, then I'll just kill the world too. Uh, because I can't help but notice, yes, I managed to, uh, get together several thousand gold very quickly. I am a pagan. It is time to take tragedy in my hands and embrace what I am. If we were to simply burn Europe to the ground, I would be so rich I could just buy every single mercenary. And then I could just set them on Europe. And then I'd probably have enough manpower to stand against literally everybody. Even if literally, literally everybody stood against me. It's a slightly mad plan, but... I'm gonna be honest, Poseidon is uh, running out of time to leave his mark on the world and uh, his actual succession is uh, not looking as secure as it once was. It is not easy to get over, you know, cancer. You can survive a very long time with it in this game if you get it young enough and you've got a good enough doctor, but yeah, not good. Not good at all. We might have to spend some time figuring out what we're gonna do with Prince Polyphemus because uh, he might actually be our next true hope. So, plenty of stuff to have a think about next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah.